So guys, just relax. It's gonna be fine. Just act, act natural. Act natural. Okay, cool. Right. This is your first interview, guys? Kind of, or have you been doing as, this before? As a, I mean, as a group. I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, as a group, absolutely. Okay. Collectively. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So I'm gonna do a three, two, one countdown, and we'll get going. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, let's all do right. this. Three, three, two, one. I'd like to introduce Julia Claire, director. Lorenzo Batista, actor. Johnny Walker, producer. Awesome, guys. Now you guys mm -hmm. are your first time here. Yeah. yeah. At Sundance. At Sundance. Yeah. Because I remember mine was pretty hectic. So what was your first? I think it's been a really exciting experience and that we've really been like welcomed into the fray of the, you know, Sundance community. What fray are we speaking of? Well, actually, I had a film play at this very cool festival in New York, okay. very trendy festival. While we were there as filmmakers, a really notable producer said, come to Sundance and he, that he'd take a look at our film. Yeah. Yep. So at that point, I was like, we're invited. Okay. We're invited yeah. to Sundance. Now, you guys are here trying to sell a movie. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Finishing shot. OK, who came up with the idea? Yeah. Well, Lorenzo and I, about 10 years. Well, it, was, it was a Lorenzo's idea, and I kind of just helped him with some of the concepting. And yeah. He but took since a first they weren't step. actually storytellers, I went and put my artistic flesh and blood into the story and physically wrote it. I, I did pay homage to some of the cute little notes that they put in their notebooks, mm -hmm. but it took more of a seasoned storyteller okay. to get it down on paper. I mean, I did write it. Like, I, you know, wrote I mean, it out. I mean, not in, like, a literal yeah. sense? Well, no, I literally wrote I it mean, in my notebook and gave like it a script. A slight script doctor, if that. OK, I don't really want to insult my work that way. Okay, and this is, you, I understand that we're at a bit of an impasse right now. A bit of an impasse? The movie's done. It's yeah, like way course, past an impasse. Yeah, of course, my movie is done. No, it's not your movie. It's our movie. Okay, we're here I together. Mean, I do we understand. actually have a trailer for it. The it's fact not... of the matter is that this is my work, and you are playing it off as something other than I can't deal with this. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> Crazy. Look at this. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life? You never see something like this in New York. Oh my god. This is our break. I know. I this know. This is our fucking break. Have you seen Tolerzo? No. Where the fuck is he? I don't know. He's always late. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Dude! Dude! <laughs> hey guys. Well, you're not as late as usual. Well, I mean. <laughs> Oh my god! What's up, dude? Oh my god, we are here, and it's real. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's I definitely know. up there. Yeah. It's exactly like your vision board. It's just like the vision board. HBO, Netflix, the Egyptian theater, and we're here, and we're gonna make fucking history. You know what this is? Kismet. This is kismet, but it's also a culmination of two years of hard frickin' work. Talent meets hard work meets preparation. OK, let's I do just, it. Yeah. What should we do first? 
Um, Atticus Bookshop is where all the cool filmmakers hang out, so that, that's but, where you're gonna find the next Lars von Trier. Let's go. But let's check in the Airbnb first. I'm gonna Fine, drop our whatever. stuff off, get ourselves settled in, <laughs> and then we can go to Atticus and network okay, you guys and all that stuff. Lead the way, I'll be right here. This is amazing. Hey, check out Direct TV Lodge. Yes. Oh, nice. And there's an IMDb lodge over there. And I wonder is, since we're all IMDb Pro members, do you think they let us go in? Get in? You think? I don't know, maybe. Well, I have IMDb cool. Pro too. Yeah, so. so maybe they'll let us in. And then there's also, I saw a Vimeo place. Yes. And a Dropbox place. And since That's... we have all of those places, I'm sure we're probably VIPs there. And okay, cool. Free swag. Free swag, yes. You never have too many T-shirts. You think there'd be oh any God. like cool actors there or something? Yeah, like, probably. Yeah. We might be able to get someone to cameo in our next thing. Oh, that'd be amazing. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Sunday. You got to wait. Wait, camera cross? No. Okay, come Let on, let's just go. go. Look at this. Well, I guess we. Do you think are, people are we actually go skiing? Okay, like, why would they right. waste their time on the slopes when they could be actually schmoozing? You know. Don't forget, we're here to find RB and sell this movie. People keep on looking at me. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I feel like maybe they recognize me. Oh. Do you think they could have seen me from my Q&A at the Uptown Downtown Film Festival? Oh, oh yeah, of course. Because totally. I keep on getting looks, and it's like, they might just think that I'm somebody who's already famous. So I'm thinking when we're here next year, okay. it's going to be all about our sophomore feature. Oh, look at the dog. So at that point, we're going to know a little more. And I think we'll probably premiere at Eccles. Okay. And they plan this whole filmmaker retreat thing. Really? That only the director, I'm sorry, not the producers or anyone else, but the director gets invited to Bob Redford's house. And you get to have lunch in his living room. And he's like really chill, because by then you're like one of the anointed ones. Oh, look, there's the IMDb lounge. Oh. Oh, hey guys, sorry, oh, we're close to a private event. Oh, I have an IMDb account. I have IMDb yeah, Pro. Yeah, this is invite only. Yeah, they're doing talent interviews in here. But we're talent. Oh. We're talented too. We're, talented we're all too. talented. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. We're gonna get next here. Stay warm. Okay. Take care. Have a Thanks. Good one. So we're here to sell the movie. Yes. We're here to try to get our work seen and taken seriously at a really high level. So I think that if we just think, I am the prize, yep. here to make this movie, I'm with we're you. going to get this work seen on a huge level. <gasps> guys, 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 it's the bear. Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's take a I moment from our all-important Sundance trip to okay. pose with a fat bear. Sundance 2018. <laughs> hey, it's me, your boy. A friend? Uh, anyway, sorry, just calling to let you know that we're here. Um, I'm actually here with a bear. Oh, um, you don't know about the bear. There's just a statue of a bear at Sundance called Franz, and like, it's just, um, it's a statue of a bear. Anyway, uh, yeah, give me a call back when you can. OK, bye. We made it, guys. Ground zero of Sundance. I can't believe it. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Shush! It's beautiful. <laughs> no, it is really nice. I just thought, you know. It's perfect. <laughs> We're going to be on that screen one day. And hopefully sooner than later. Yes! <laughs> ah. Cool. All right, let's find this Airbnb. So guys, it says in five feet, we make a right. OK. Guys, look, there it is. There's the stairs. Ooh, ooh let's do it. Dude, that's a fuck ton of stairs. Come on, slow folks. I know. Sundance waits for no man. Ah, come on. Dude, did you hear that Sundance waits for no man jab? Yeah, I heard it. <sighs> Dude, the altitude's really messing me up. I thought I was in shape. Apparently not. You OK? Yeah, OK. Oh my god, there's so many more stairs. We're good, we're good. Come on, come on. We got it, we got this. Oh my god. We're good, we're good, we're good. Dude, why is she running so fast? 
She like, I didn't feel like a marathon. I just need to lose weight. You'll be all right. You're good. Oh my God, son of a I can't go bitch. anymore. Dude, I need you to let go of my bag. My heart's really I need you to let go of my bag, it's too much. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, are you kidding me? More stairs? There's more stairs. How is she going so fast? How is she going so fast? Oh, they're so steep. Why are they so steep? Why are there so many? Oh my God. This is horrible. Oh, I hate her. My legs are burning. My head's starting to really burning. hurt, dude. Like, it's really hurt. It hurt. Do you think it's like... There's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can't do this. I can't do this. Somewhere. Holy shit. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. Come on. Come on, we gotta go. We got we can't stop us. If we stop, we're not gonna make it. Woo! Sunday 2018. Woo 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 woo. Let's go! <laughs> Come on! Oh. oh, look at this place. Okay. <sighs> Guys, there it is. Where? There's the Airbnb. Oh, my God. Hey, did I do good or did I do good? Done good. This is, this is nice. sweet. All right, let me get us. I call room. the master bedroom. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> look at this place. Yeah, it's super, super. <sighs> hey. Everything's happening. I know. This place is sweet. I know, it's so nice. I can't wait to get inside. Yeah, right? It's huge. Hey, dude, you good? Nah, dude, we're good. We're good. Hey, yes, this is Johnny from the uh, Three People Renting. No, no, we're outside right now, actually. No, I didn't get your email, actually. What did it say? Oh, I mean, a leak, that's fine. I mean, we're just, like, crashing for the night. What do you mean we can't stay? I, I know you sent the email. I didn't get any email. No, we can't find any other reservation. You guys didn't even give us a refund yet. That's our last $400. <laughs> so, I was watching Yojimbo on the Criterion Collection Laserdisc, and I had this realization that everything that I was doing as an auteur with my work and like the downtown scene in Brooklyn could be my calling card. And that the way I was using black and white and like the visual style that I was getting wasn't just like merely like the French new wave thing. Yes, I mean, I do use that thing where every single one of my characters dialogue has this like really like shrewd philosophical statement thing. And then Johnny said to me, you know, Julia, like style over substance could be a thing. And I thought that intrinsically, if what I was doing, if that's what I'm trying to say, and the suffering that I'm using, that it could actually really inform the kind of visual work that I'm doing. So I thought to myself that my film could be the very thing that puts me on the map. And I've read somewhere that if you reach out to like Jessica Chastain or Gerard Depardieu and you say they are writing a character that transcends the mere type that they normally play, hey that guys, that would be a guys, calling card. Sorry, and like, can we have a team meeting? So, I just got off the phone with Justin, okay. uh, the guy who was renting us the house. Sweet, so are we getting in now? So that's the thing, so as you may or may not have noticed, I couldn't get in, so I called him, and that's when he gave me some bad news and some badder news. Okay. What? Okay. So, the bad news is there is a leak. That's fine, I, just, I mean, you can have the room closest to the bathroom. Thank you can you. sleep through anything. Of course. We'll be fine. I said yeah. the same exact thing. Right, right, I said, let's just move in right now. Exactly, we're only here for the night. I said, Exactly, Listen. it's all good. Totally, but apparently he emailed me, which I never got. Why and didn't you check your email? I did. But what if we have agents and managers and distributors writing to us during this trip? Yeah, that's all great and stuff. So guys, what are like, we doing tonight? We need to focus on making sure that when people are trying to get to us, that we're available to be gotten to. I, guys, I got it. Look, between the three of us, we have to know someone we can crash with. Wait, oh, you're really wait, saying what? that we can't stay here tonight? Dude, in the I'm place so that we booked cold. out, this... Oh my God, dude, are you serious? Guys, Look, he's, this, gonna, he's gonna refund this, our money back. But this Airbnb was on my vision board. It's not something that we can just replace. Okay, look, no one cares about the vision board. You're saying you don't care about my vision board? 
That's exactly what I'm okay, saying. You're my producer. You're here to support me okay. and to support okay, my let's, vision. Guys, what are we gonna do? Okay, um, Julia, we're gonna take off our filmmaker's hats on and we're gonna talk as friends right now. I can't take the hat off. I am the hat. Okay. No one cares about the vision board. What? Look, I'm stressing out. Listen, we will just sleep in the airport, okay? We'll figure it out. I don't I care. I can't fucking work like this. Just fix it, dude. Oh, God, I'm so tired. Me too. I feel so good to sit down. Look, guys, I don't want you to worry, OK? I'm reaching out to everybody I know who could be at Sundance, I'm sure. Somebody has a floor we can crash on. Just In what has become a tradition of the festival, this year's non-panel panel, called This Is Not A Panel, will be featuring filmmakers sharing objects, stories, and sensory representation of what influenced their work. Is that not the most Sundance shit you have ever heard in your <laughs> entire life? Yeah. Guys, is this how it's gonna be all day? You guys are just gonna keep ignoring me? Ooh, Madeline's Madeline sounds so subversive. The new frontier section is almost entirely female filmmakers. Yeah, I don't. This I, like... is the shit. And since we don't have anywhere to stay this afternoon, we might as well go and you know sit in the theater. True. What do you think is at Eccles at noon? Do you think we should just crash it? Me I think too. we should just like walk the fuck in and act like we we work there. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, I don't know if that's gonna... Ooh, they have breakfast pizza. Do they have any unicorn lattes? What's a unicorn latte? It has that, like, sugar pink unicorn Guys, guys, poop. guys, RB is talking at Slam Dance. He goes on in 10 minutes. We gotta run. We gotta okay, go. We gotta get go. Fuck out. I really wanted the pizza. <sighs> God, why is this so difficult? RB is here! RB is here! We gotta go, hurry! Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, just, just rest. rest. Yeah. I have a confession. I always wanted to be a director and actor. But then 2002, Robert Evans, the kid stays in the picture. That's the film that made me realize that there's an art to being a producer, albeit a very painful one. The thing about being a producer is you're the person that keeps everything together. You're essentially the heart and soul of a movie. You're also the one that when shit hits the fan, everyone seems to crap on you. Guys, guys! What's up? We missed him. Oh, shit. You guys have to keep up when I'm running. We're not going to get to do anything if we're slow. It's the hills and stuff. I know, I know. Sorry. It's OK. What do we do now? Why don't we just go to the ticketing center and see maybe he's doing panels? I mean, I checked the app and there's nothing, but maybe we can convince someone in person. OK. All right. OK, cool. we can do this. Let's go. Oh, we're going. Whew. When do you think an S bus is coming? Oh, not sure. Uh, let's see if I can find the schedule. Sit down. So. I was able to Google, it's about three minutes to the next bus. Awesome. Cool. Guys, can you believe you're all free here? We're at Sundance. Land of opportunity. Free opportunities are great. Oh my god. I can't wait for today. Yeah. I can't wait to get inside somewhere warm. Yeah. Like a warm theater. Oh, wait! Oh, come on. Guys, I got a confession to make. Another one? I did not prepare for this trip. I didn't bring thermal underwear. I don't have any winter socks. And I haven't felt my feet in about 27 minutes. Anybody have an extra pair of socks that they would be willing to lend me? It's fine. You're taking all of this too seriously. Your feet will thaw. Your life will go on. We're only here in Park City for 24 hours to see art. Forget the rest of it. Let's just go see something really cool and avant-garde and expand our artistic palettes and have the Guys, best. Look, I get it. We're at Sundance Film Festival, but why are we trying to see movies when we're trying to sell a movie? That's our purpose for being here. Because we're not the kind of self-indulgent artists that don't take in the work that's around us. 
We're here to support art and live art and breathe art. We'll sell our film. We'll take in some world-class cinema. We just have time to kill anyway, dude. We lost our Airbnb, so like, we have to be yeah. inside somewhere. Yeah, inside I mean, somewhere. if we had the Airbnb, then we might be able to, you know, go and chill out there, but... So we're, we're gonna keep bringing that up again all day, huh? Well, I'm just saying that we don't have a home, so the cinema is our home today. Guys, look. One movie, okay? Or a block of shorts. Fine. If we just follow our artistic hearts and go and see the best shit, we're probably, through the laws of attraction, going to draw him towards us anyway. Did you guys any celebrities yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen a bunch. Have you seen any? No, who'd you see? Oh, I saw uh, John Hamm, saw Kevin Smith, wow. saw Nick Cage. Uh... Did you talk to any of them? No, no one talks to Nick Cage. <laughs> Dude, that's, listen, that's crazy. When you're at Sundance, this is the perfect opportunity to talk and meet other actors, people that are trying to do what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess, but... Look, Lorenzo, sometimes, dude, you just got to put your balls out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take a risk. OK, now I got you. Cool. Nick Cage, pull your balls out. Got you. I mean, I'm not going to literally pull my balls out. No. that'd be weird. I said, put your balls out there. Put your balls out there. Not pull oh, your balls out. Yeah. It's a metaphor. Yeah. Got you. Maybe, maybe next time, don't use metaphors. Just like, build your confidence, you know, something like that. Just so it's more clear. You know what I mean? I think that's a good idea. Come on, guys. This is nice. All right, guys, we're here. So first things first, let's yep. head upstairs and check out the panel schedule. Try to find our B. And movies. OK. Movies. All right, you hang tight. Just like mingle or something. OK, cool. This is, this is intense. There's a lot of tension between those two, which has just been ongoing for I don't even know how long. But it's fine. We're here. We're gonna make this happen, we're gonna meet RB, and it's gonna be great. Because it, I, just, I just want it, I want it to be really great, because this is, I'm really nervous about this. I'm just like, it's my first feature, and I want people to like it. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> yeah, I just did a lot of prep for this character. Just, you know, miser technique, uh, Alexander technique. I just like, really, honestly, I just watched a lot of movies to like see what the actors did in those movies, uh, like Dumb and Dumber. Liar Liar, Mask, just a lot of Jim Carrey movies, um, just to see you know, what he did. It's gonna help me get into my character as a minority, you know, from the Bronx, falling in love with an alien who's just like a smaller minority. So that's gonna be a fun thing to see how RB reacts to it, you know? And I'm just like really excited to see hey, how. Lorenzo, uh, yeah. We're another team meeting. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so here's the situation. All short blocks and feature films are sold out. RB's not speaking at any panels. And we have no place to stay. Thanks for that. OK, Mr. Producer, what now? You know what? I actually think I got something. Oh, good, good. He's got something. It's real reassuring. <sighs> this is nice, though. My feet hurt. Yeah, my face hurts. At least we're at Sundance? Yeah. There's that. The fire's pretty. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. I am a freaking genius. Do you remember that guy I told you about that I follow on Twitter, Indie Film Hustle? So I don't know yeah. why the hell I didn't remember this. He is doing an interview with RB here at Sundance. Oh, so. I sent him a direct message and I said, listen, is there any way me and my two filmmaker friends can possibly swing by to meet RB after your interview? And he said, dude, you guys are members of the tribe, no problem. We're gonna meet him tonight. <gasps> Whoa. 
Yes! Did I tell you guys I would come through oh, for you? Do I dude. ever let you down? Oh, Thank you. Fuck. Awesome. So we're gonna meet at RB. We're gonna yes. meet him. We have four hours. Oh, Nothing. God. For once, like we said, let's just freaking enjoy Sundance, yeah. okay? Let's relax. Everything's good. All right, let's make Take it happen. Take a breath. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's we'll make the best. We're at Sundance. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> Uh, we're just calling to check in, let you know that we're here. Um, just waiting for the bus now, trying to meet up with the producer and hopefully sell this movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just give me a call back when you can. Um, I'll text you a little later. And um, yeah, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, so question. Mm -hmm. Good idea or amazing idea if I just cold write to an assistant at WME? on Facebook. Why not try it? Like, the worst that could happen is they block me. Right, oh. yeah. Or they watch our trailer and realize that we're the next Kubricks. And if I send our trailer, like, the more hits on it, if it goes viral, like, the more likely we are to probably get a deal. Anyway, guys, I might have, uh, I might have met someone back home. Uh, like, a girl? I, mean, I, I'm not, I don't want to, like, say much about it. Just, like, Wait, you mean, like, a, a special boy? someone? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. It's a girl. Um, you knew that. <laughs> That's really sweet. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's just like we've talked a couple of times. We'll see what happens. What's she like? Uh, I mean, she's really nice. I mean, we're getting to know each other. Nothing like too crazy yet. I've only given on like two days, but I feel something, and I'm kind of excited about it. Is she an actor? No, she's a dentist. Probably for the best. You never want to date within the industry. Trust me. I don't know about that. So says the one who hasn't had a boyfriend in two years. I mean, it's not like I've taken like an actual vow of celibacy, but I just think my work has to be number one in my life right now. For sure. I mean, I don't know. It'd be nice to like have someone. Yeah, something. no, for sure. I just saying the most successful people are often married to their careers, and I just don't think we okay. should get distracted before. Okay. You know. Never mind. Married to their careers. Yeah. We have, we have to have more than just a film business, though. Why? Because. At the end of our lives, we're, we're not going to take the movies we made with us. It's going to be the people we... <laughs> I don't know. I plan to sleep next to my Oscars every night and stay really warm. You're really delusional. <laughs> At least I'm focused. Anyway, yeah, she's, like, super nice. Hey, maybe we'll get a free cleaning out of it. <laughs> I don't think we're at that stage yet. Dude. Oh, um... May I get a Thin Mint? Uh, milk or dark chocolate? Yes, Mom, of course dark I'm eating chocolate. healthy. Yes, I got the kale chips and the granola. No, no, of course I'll be staying away from sweets. Okay, love you, bye. That's perfect. <laughs> Insta time. This is fun, guys, isn't Let's it? Let's take a picture. Okay. Um, excuse me, what are you guys doing? You can't have me here. Just one selfie? No, we gotta have you leave. No, no selfies? No selfies, sorry. Let's okay. get up and head on out. Sorry. Come on. Sorry. sorry. Come back later. Hello. Is this WME? Yes. May I speak to someone in the packaging department? No, no, not the mail room. The pack, like, TV packaging. I, I got the number off IMDb Pro. No, it's cool, I can wait. She's out to lunch again. Okay, I'll call back. I'll call back, okay, okay, goodbye. You have a whole damn photo album. Good for you, good for you, kid. Great job, all right. Holy shit, guys, that's Glickman. That's Steven Glickman. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> hey, dude, you're Steven Glickman, right? Uh-huh. Yo, yeah. big fan, man. Can I get an autograph? Sure. Yeah, no, no, no autographs, man. I'll take oh. a picture with you. Oh, yeah, cool. I just don't do autographs. No, that's I mean, fine. You know, I get it. We try to sell it on the eBay and shit. Before you know yeah. it's worth $45. Right, right, right. It's like, you know, I'm not worth $45. Worth $55. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate yeah. it. No problem, man. You bet. Oh, man. Oh, shit, it's blurry. Can I just get... Can I get one more? Hurry, it's a new filter of 28. Okay, yeah, I mean, I got I got a picture. That's good. So. I have no idea who he is, but let's go meet real auteurs. Okay. Mom.
Mom, I got your text. What's up? Yeah, I borrowed the money. What? Are... Look, you, you're the one who told me that I need to invest in myself, that if I don't invest in me, no one else is going to invest in me. But I know, but I didn't have the money. No, but Mom, look, this film is going to be my chance. It's my way in. Look, I was trying to do it for us. I don't want us living in this shitty apartment anymore. You know, I always wanted to buy you a house. You know, I always said that. What do you, what do you mean don't come home? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, look. Whoa. Look, they're showing me the animals, which is a Sundance film this year, and they're doing a reading right now. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay, 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 we're going, we're going, jeez. Calling again, voicemail number five. Sorry, uh, I just thought you had the day off, so I uh, was just not sure what's going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, give me a call back when you can. Uh, oh, that's you calling, sir. Hey, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I got a sec. Sorry? Well, no, I mean, I was just calling to see how you were doing. No, I just, I just thought we had something. Okay. Yeah, no, I get it. Okay. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey. Ready? How's she doing? She's good. Oh, lover boy. Yeah, she's good. Oh my God, I love all this, these, the crowds. The adrenaline just like lights me up, you know? Yeah, totally. Don't you just live for people to wait in line to see you and your work? Yeah, I, I you know, making people laugh is awesome. I just want to move to Sundance. <laughs> want to move to Sundance? Yeah. It it's like, only like lasts like 10 days. Shut up. Okay. Is that Leonardo oh, DiCaprio? Jesus. Oh. Do you think if I got up right now and told him that I had a script and that he would come and be in my next movie? <laughs> oh my god. Probably not, but. Shut up! Okay. Hello? Hey, it's Julia Clare. I'm just checking in. I wanted to let you know that I'm at the Sundance Film Festival. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of Samantha's clients. <laughs> What do you mean I'm no longer on her roster? No, no, no. I told her that I was booking out to go to the Sundance Film Festival to show my feature. Downsizing? Oh, do you mean you're not repping filmmakers above a certain level? Because I'll totally take referrals if you think I should be with like a bigger management company, like in Zero Gravity or an Authentic. Dropping me? <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I understand. No, I, I, I. Hey, guys. Let's. Guys feeling? I'm feeling ready. I'm okay. What about I you? I'm okay. I feel really good. Is this it? This is it. How you feel? About to go up to Oz. <sighs> I don't. I was born yeah, I, ready. Okay. Remember, guys, a pitch, just like we talked about. I'm okay. ready. Got this. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Cool, 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 cool. This place is dope. Hey. Hi. Uh, is the elevator this way? Great. Thanks. 
It's right here. You ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. After you. After you, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's Indie Film Hustle again? That's pretty cool. Um, <sighs> All right, it's got to be this way. We seriously can't be late. Do you know how unprofessional it's going to look if we're late? Um, that one says I'm never me. trusting you guys again. Oh, jeez. God, now the numbers are going back down. This place is like a frickin' maze. We're gonna miss them, guys. Well, we're no, trying you here. you gotta stay positive. Everyone, just use the law of attraction. Okay. Okay, look, guys, two, two, three, four. The numbers are going up. This is good. This is very, very good. Uh, Six. What is it? What? Two forty-seven? Was it? Two forty-seven. Two forty-seven. Where? Oh. That's two oh seven. Crap. Hey guys, look. Before we go in, can we just have like a quick little powwow? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to make sure we're on the same page with all of this. Oh yeah, for damn sure. One hundred percent. So I am having a really tough time with the name of the film. But I think it's because you don't get it. The Tango of Neptune's Fury, The Battle of Persephone, is a beautiful homage to all the kind of European films that everyone is like actively looking to get behind. I just think that just the name is just too damn long. I just don't think this is the right time to talk about this. I mean, the Battle of Persephone is an internal battle. It is just filled with estrogen. I mean, it comes from down here. It's the kind of thing that when we talk about as women, fe female filmmakers, this is like the Me Too movement all encapsulated in one sci-fi film filled with feminist propaganda. Right? Sure. Yeah. It, it's subjective. I just thought. I mean, I don't think it's subjective when it was probably the title that got me past the first round of the Nichols Fellowship. I mean, it's the kind of thing that is so intrinsic to my style of work. I mean, my passion comes through in that title. That is like an homage to the kind of work that everyone wants to work, to be part of. I mean, it's beautiful cinematic storytelling. Okay, you barely got through the first round? But like, okay, regardless. but the coverage that I got, people told me that I was really saying something. Guys, 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 all I'm saying is, from a marketing standpoint, what if we shorten the title to get this Persephone? What? I mean, this isn't Pixar. Look, I know, but I was just thinking that you know, with a title that long, it's people are gonna think we're that we're pretentious and like don't... we don't need a one name like thing. It doesn't have to be catchy. Yeah, I mean, something... people are going to remember it because it's, it's in mature. the Criterion collection, not because it has a slightly pretentious title that actually is really kind of brilliant. God, the numbers are going down again. It's like, where the heck is this room? I don't remember this hallway at all. No, I don't either. <laughs> Guys, 247. Finally. This place is super cool. Hey, Alex, nice to meet you. I'm Lorenzo. Big fan of your indie film Hustle Podcast. It's really awesome stuff. Big fan. Oh, I'm not Alex, man. Sorry? I I'm not Alex, man. I'm Paul. Paul? Yeah, Paul. Paul. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, guys, I'm Alex. Oh, <sighs> fuck. Hi. Alex Julian. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, dude, good to meet oh, you. Finally, man. Thank, you, man. Time. thank you for having me. Awesome to have having you, man. Awesome to have you here, man. Hey, Alex. Lorenzo. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you guys. Sorry about Pleasure that. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks yeah. for coming. I mean, what you're doing for the community, it's, it's I'm, really amazing. Oh, just trying to help other filmmakers. You know, we're all in this together, so why not help each other? Is, <laughs> is your guest RB still around? So I, I got a little bit of bad news. Um, RB's not going to be able to make it today because he got stacked up on some other interviews. So he's not going to be here. I'm so sorry. And don't okay. even worry about it. I'm so sorry. No, no that's dude, cool. it's fine. It happens. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. What's with the mics? Oh, I'm just interviewing uh, filmmakers here at Sunday, trying to get the word out on their projects. Oh, sweet. I don't know if, if you've told him, but 
We've been getting a little bit of buzz on the festival circuit. You got a feature film you just finished? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, awesome. We just are shopping around at Sundance, and maybe, maybe you could interview us. Um, yeah, why not? I've no, we're all set up. Like, absolutely, we'll help you guys out. Yeah? Oh, yeah. nice. Okay, cool, let's do this. Oh, sweet. Sorry, dude. No worries, guys. Just take off, take off your jackets and stuff, and we'll get going right away. Hey, you guys look really similar. So guys, just relax. It's gonna be fine. You just act, act natural. Act natural. Absolutely. Okay, cool. This is your first interview, guys. Kind of, or have you been doing as, this before? As a, I mean, as a group. I know I, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But great. yeah, as a group, absolutely, okay. collectively. Yeah. So uh, all right. So I'm gonna do a three, two, one countdown, and we'll get going. All right. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's all do right. this. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'd like to welcome to the show, Julia Clare, director. Oh, uh, Lorenzo Batista, actor. Johnny Walker, producer. That's it, guys. So. First of all, what made you guys want to be filmmakers? Well, well I, I mean, go. I really would say it's a bit of a calling. OK. It's one of those things that you just grow up as a storyteller with a diverse voice. Mm. And as a disenfranchised millennial, it just really felt like I had a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And I'm a spokesperson for so many girls just like me. So I just started making shit and just going for it, going for it. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I had a filmmaking mentor in college, and he said, you know, being a filmmaker is cool, but one of the coolest things about it is being the voice of the voiceless, and that just really resonated with me. Cool. Lorenzo? Oh, wow. Um, I just, I just really love movies. Like, well, what's some of your favorite directors? Uh, I think right now, Tommy Wiseau. The Room? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? I have. That's the only movie he's directed. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like, wow, he just, like, left his mark and... Hasn't worked on anything else. Okay. Since. So well, that actually also inspired you to get into acting. Yeah. Like his performance in that movie was just like, it really hit home. He has and... a very unique vision. Oh, without, yeah. Without question. 100%. Now, you guys are your first time here yeah. at Sundance. At Sundance, yeah. So, what is kind of, what's been the, the experience here at Sundance, your first time? Because I remember mine was pretty hectic. So, what was your first, <laughs> your first experience here? Oh, it's been hell. Super <laughs> it's rocky. It's been bad. I, I think they're exaggerating a little. Okay. I think it's been a really exciting experience and that we've really been like welcomed into the fray of the, you know, Sundance community. What fray are we speaking of? Well, actually, I had a film play at this very cool festival in New York, okay. very trendy festival. While we were there as filmmakers, a really notable producer said, come to Sundance and he, that he'd take a look at our film. Yeah. So at that point I was like, we're invited. Okay. We're invited yeah. to Sundance. You've got a, a, a positive outlook on things. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you. You guys, so you're, you're feeling on your experience so far? Well, I mean, it, sure, yeah. It was, you know, pretty intense. But, like, we lost our Airbnb this morning. That, that, uh, was, that, was, that was my fault. And, you know, yeah. some people would be concerned about earthly mm -hmm. things like that. OK. But the way I see it, we're being invited into a community of filmmakers and it's just been this like really surreal experience. So yeah. I don't want to define 24 hours of our life by what did we get or lose, you know? It's not material. 24 hours, how long are you guys here for? Just like tomorrow morning. For a day. So you're doing Sundance in one day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and some might say it's a little ambitious, but. Uh, many people say it's a little <laughs> ambitious. It's, uh, it's, but, it's, yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like, all we could afford right now. Is that the reason why it's just like? Yeah, it's just something I mean, like just. I feel you. I feel yeah. you. Spend, we all gotta hustle. Now you guys are here trying to sell a movie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Finishing shot. Okay. So what's the name of the feature? It is called Persephone. Okay. And all right. And what is Persephone about? It's a romantic dramedy. We like to think of it as E.T. meets the Shape of Water with a little Transformers sprinkled on top. I'd actually say <laughs> it's a bit more of a really personal coming of age story. It has like an intergalactic element but it's really based on my own experience as a legal alien. And I decided to transpose that and make that something that was an experience based on a young boy and how he was navigating this relationship with this really exceptional alpha woman, you know? Yeah. Uh, we have a trailer. I'd we love do. To see it. Yes, love yes, to see it. yes, 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 yes. We shot it in black and white, and I think it's just... We shot the movie in black and white. Yeah, it yeah. was. That a, is a bold it choice. Was, it, it was. Thank you. It's a bold. It's a bold choice. Not my choice. So. No, you didn't make many creative choices, but right, it's so something it's, I'm very proud of. It's shot on black and white. Um, it's a bit Francis Ha meets Criterion Collection. So, 
All right, so you shot it all in black and white. I actually yep. um, edited that. You edited the feature or the trailer? The trailer. No, you, you don't have to be humble. I both. You edited <laughs> you did the, the feature whole as well. Feature. Yeah. You did. And um, did, have you ever edited a feature before? No, that was my first time. It made it really raw. Yeah. Killed it. Yeah. Thanks. Guys. And um, what did you edit on? iMovie. Yeah, because I, I, I recognized the star wipe. Um, which is also a bold choice in well, trailer. It's an, inter, it's an intergalactic. I, I understand. I, I understand the connection yeah. between stars I and thought. thematically. Cool. I, I get you. I'm I glad get. like that came across because. No, no, it's there. It's there. It was something Without... that I was hoping wasn't too subtle. No, no, no. You, you, you're there. Okay. You're there. Also, um, I didn't have a lot of choices in iMovie, so um, I just went with. You know, limitations are sometimes the best source yes, of creativity. Yeah, absolutely. I feel really absolutely. Absolutely. Inspired. Uh, as a markability situation, I mean, black and white's going to be tough. I know, but I was thinking Criterion Collection the entire time that I was shooting this. Okay. And I was thinking that, you know, Lena Dunham was exalted when they brought Tiny Furniture into the collection. Okay. And I feel like that what, and now that Virgin Suicides was recently introduced. Okay. I feel like this is really the trifecta. Okay. And it really kind of, I feel like this is my time and my voice and my moment. So, um, it, this is, it's, it's, it's a bold, trailer and a bold idea. Who came up with this idea? Well, I mean, I was the writer and auteur. Okay. Oh, well, and I directed it, of course, obviously. Yeah. Well, Lorenzo and I, about 10 years ago, it was a Lorenzo's idea, and I kind of just helped him with some of the concepting. And yeah. he but took since a first they weren't step. actually storytellers, I went and put my artistic flesh and blood into the story and physically wrote it. I, I did pay homage to some of the cute little notes that they put in their notebooks, mm -hmm. but it well, took more of a seasoned storyteller okay. to get it down on paper. I mean, I did write it. Like, I, you know, wrote I mean, it out. And not I in, like, the a literal yeah. sense. Well, no, I literally wrote it in my notebook and gave you the script. I mean, if I were to base, if I were to credit every person who said conversationally little snippets that made it into my script, I mean, as an artist, I can't just credit every bystander on the train. I feel like that's like severely downplaying what I did, but whatever. Yeah. They didn't write it. I mean, I, you know, I have the copyright and the Library of Congress. I, like, I'm... Wait, wait. What do you mean you have the copyright? Well, I mean, it's under my name because I actually wrote it. Because as the only actual person who's qualified as a screenwriter, you both had ideas that inspired my creative muse. Wait, wait, wait. We, we said we weren't going to copyright. Well, obviously, now that our project is getting such buzz and it's going to kind of take the festival circuit by storm, I had to do the responsible thing. Well, of, of course. Right. I mean, <coughs> of course, as long as you're and all now, on the same But wait, 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 wait. Right. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. Did you put our names on it? I put my name, the writer, director of the project. I mean, I wasn't going to go and put, like, the names of PAs and everyone else who worked on the film on the script. That's kind of taken it. We're not PAs. Like, I was the lead. He's the producer. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. darling, and just we came up with the concept. He wrote it first, and then he, you took it and judged it up. As an actor, you mean he spoke my words? That the privilege of getting to speak my words as an actor in a project that I clearly, I am the inception and the art. I mean, you were like a slight script doctor, if that. Okay, I don't really want to insult my work that way. I think that. He artistically means that it's all based on my vision board. Would you stop with the damn vision board? Nobody cares about your vision board. Okay, we're talking right now about the law of attraction. And if it wasn't for me and my vision, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be at Sundance. We wouldn't be making art. We would still be sitting in your mom's basement. Well, it's so funny that you talk about, you know, this vision board and the law of attraction because it's just like the way that you attracted $100,000 out of my mom's retirement to make this movie. That's how the movie got made. Just like you were attracted to my entire artistic process and are now claiming ownership. I'm sorry you've never done anything artistic in your life and you want to piggyback on your ex-girlfriend's success. Alex? Y yes. This is why you never work with someone that you used to date. Oh. Ow! Fuck! Way to have my back, dude. Like, for the love of God, just grow some balls for once. Oh, come on. That's, that's mean. Um, so, uh, Lorenzo, you got anything else going on? Um, oh, I mean, uh, I'm gonna be in next week's episode of CSI. 
had a featured walk-on under five. So um, look out for that. <laughs> Julia. What? Come out. No. Julia, come out, please. Embarrassed. Yeah, well, that was embarrassing. Look, you guys just... Look, I know Johnny can be a bit of a dick sometimes. He's a bad producer. Yeah, and he's kind of a piece of shit, you know, but... And a shitty friend. So, just come on out. Fine. It's... Thank you. Okay, look, I think at this point, we should just cut our losses, grab our stuff, and get out of here, okay? Do you think this is gonna hurt the movie? It's probably gonna hurt the movie, but let's just go. Fine, let's go. Do I know you guys? You know, it doesn't even matter. Here, I need you guys to do me a huge favor. I need you guys to go to the liquor store, and get enough vodka, whiskey, gin for about 30 producers for the party tonight, okay? Good, here's the list. Uh, bring me receipts. Oh, and uh, get some hand sanitizer and chapstick for Alex. He's a little bit of a bitch, I know, but you guys get it. Anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Guys, 30 producers. Go, go, come on. Do you know how many people we're going to pitch tonight? Oh. 30? Michelle in the room? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Have you seen it? Yeah, that's my favorite movie. Really? Oh my god, I'm, I'm Lorenzo. Nice to meet you. I've seen that movie like 50 times. It's just I just saw the disaster artist and it's just like, oh wow, you're freaking what's he like? Is he Tommy? Who are you? Sorry? Who are you? I'm Lorenzo. Do I know you? Uh do you know him? I, I mean, no, I just no, met him okay. right now. Lorenzo, you're, you're, you're a great guy. I'm really glad to meet you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. But uh, we have to go. Right. I mean, can I just get a quick picture? No. Um, I don't mind. It's fine. No. 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 Okay. No, okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Just tell me about this thing you're in. Look, uh... I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't know. Oh my god, that is our beat, the producer. Uh, a rhinoceros that goes to the beach? I'm so that sorry seems like to a fucking this. weird movie. I came, I'm here. Hold on one second. I want you, I wanna keep talking about this. You wanna talk about this? Yeah, I do wanna. Alright, look, about we'll it. talk about it tomorrow. Alright, alright. Right. Let's go make get sure drunk. we catch up. Oh, you're gonna get drunk. I'm sorry, wait. Hi. I, I came to Sundance. What, you did? Here we <laughs> yeah. are. So, how do we know each other? You don't remember? No. We met at the Uptown Downtown Film Festival. Oh. You were on the panel. Uptown Downtown. And I was doing the Q&A, and I asked you a question, and I said, how would a first-time filmmaker be able to get their work in front of a producer like you? And you said, well, you come to Sundance. And that's what I said. So I came. And now yeah. who's this? This is my producer, Johnny. Very nice, nice to meet you. It's an honor. And we met. We did. All right. 
Hey. I'm the Lorenzo. I'm Lorenzo Batista. Right, so, okay. Yeah, so you told us to come and we wanted to pitch for you. So you guys have done it. We did it. We made it. I want to see it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So cool. how do we see it? We have a trailer. Yeah. Let's go outside. Let me show you. It's loud in here. Let's go see the trailer. Yeah, for you. I promise you, one time, so I come to this festival, I invite somebody to come show me something one time. You guys told me you had something, show me it. Okay, as you can see, it's Shape of Water meets E.T. with a little bit of Transformers thrown in there. And it is an homage to the early Noah Baumbach film, Francis Ha. And we shot it entirely in slow-mo with this black and white thing as an homage to the great French cinema. You'll see little bits of Truffaut here. And I think like the French New Wave, I deliberately used all of the characters speaking in philosophical statements. But it's also kind of an Brechtian allegory. So I want to disenfranchise the audience while using these like angry, filthy images. And as a disenfranchised millennial, I feel like my voice is really coming through. And I'm really infusing it with a certain je ne sais quoi that I like to think is my own essence. Why do you think anybody cares about Truffaut right now? Does anybody even know who Truffaut is? But I, so how I much did this cost? Only 100K. It's a micro-budget franchise. 100,000. Yeah. I know it looks like more. You're wasting your money. I appreciate what you're going for. This is not for me. This, amateur hour. I'm sorry. But you don't think that... I mean, art is subjective. Like, maybe there's the right buyer out there, someone who will see that. No. You're stealing from everybody else. You're not getting your own voice. But I, I thought that... This, this, here, doesn't play. It doesn't play at all. And nobody knows who Trapeau is anymore. But as a first-time filmmaker, I thought that if I played homage to the great films... So you got Greta Gerwig. No. And you got Aronofsky. No, I, I And you I, got you got all these it's it's a fucking it's like a mixed jam of the best of what's doing it right now. What separates you from that? Look, I asked you, I said if you come up here I would look at it and I have looked at it, but it's not for me. It's not gonna play here. I'm sorry, it's not. But it's a micro budget it's not gonna play. You know what? We have gone through so much shit today. We came all the way here from fucking New York. Fucking city. We came here to save this fucking movie. And we're gonna sell it with or without you. I hope you do. But I gotta pass. Guys. I need to be alone. Wait, Julia, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my fucking. Fuck! Fuck! Isolated Into the dark Now's my time To disembark The truth brings out Crazy day, huh? Dude, ballsiest move I've ever seen. Seriously. Fuck that guy, man. Yeah. It's not cool, dude. See the things he said, man? Like, you're too fucking hard to hear that. Dude, I'm a real shitty producer. No, man. Stop that. No, I mean, like, look. 
I dropped the ball in the house. I didn't help us to prepare enough for this meeting. And I try to change the name of the frickin' movie right before our interview. It's like... I just don't know what I'm doing, you know? Your girlfriend dumped me today, dude. Why, why'd she do that? I don't know. She wasn't answering my calls, and then she finally called me back. And she just said this isn't gonna go anywhere. Oh, dude, why didn't you tell me? She was just in the middle of the whole thing. Like, we were having a good time. I just didn't want to, like, ruin the mood. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? Screw her. Because you know what? You're a catch. You're a great friend. You would have been a better boyfriend, so... It's her loss. You want to hear what happened to me? So my mom found out about the 100000 She told me not to come home. What do you mean she found out about the 100000 I borrowed the money, hoping that we would sell the movie before she found out. Dude, I know what you're going to say, all right? So I'll probably have to be crashing with you for a couple of weeks just till I find a place or something. You have to find a way to get that money back, though. You know? Yeah. Look, I just want you to know that no matter how bad things went, I'm just really glad that we just did this together. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. ever since we were kids, all we ever said was we wanted to make movies. You know? We finally made one. Really bad one. Dude, it wasn't even. It was just different. Like, one guy? One guy? You're right. Just gotta keep doing it, man. I don't. I can't. I can't not do it. I know. I know. I can't not either. I just want us to keep doing it together. You know what I mean? For sure. Like, just keep sticking together and maybe eventually something will just stick. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. You okay? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, my God. That's you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm worried about you. Oh. You put the cloud over your Sundance. Tell me. I came to Sundance to show a producer my movie. And uh, he thinks it sucks, and I can't believe I actually bothered to come here and thought, I can't believe I thought I was any good. Welcome to independent filmmaking. Let me tell you, everybody goes through that, everybody. Sweetheart, your story is, is everybody's story. Uh, that, I've dealt with it on every film I've ever made. I've made 43 films. Every single one of them, somebody said was shit. Somebody out there said was shit. One of my films won an Oscar. Someone said it was shit. That's what they do. They like to break artists down. But how do you know that you have a voice or you're any good? You don't know, but you keep going. You keep going no matter what. But what if I'm not like you? What if I don't have any talent? <sighs> Let me tell you something about talent. A lot of people don't recognize it until it's too late. Doesn't mean you don't have talent. Look at Van Gogh. Van Gogh didn't sell a painting. Cut off his ear. I'm not, I'm not telling you you have to cut off his ear. I'm just saying, <laughs> hang in there. Believe in yourself, all right? You know, look at the movie It's a Wonderful Life. You know, nobody recognized how great that film was till way after it was released, all right? I love that movie. I love that movie, too. Would you look at my movie? You know, you don't need my approval, either. Believe in yourself. Thank you. But who's in it? There's this cool up-and-coming actor who had a one-liner on a CSI episode, and he's getting some buzz. Yeah. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you the best with it. Thank you. Yeah. Just remember, it's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. <sighs> Oh, 
Okay. Well, we're outside now. So. What, another team meeting? <laughs> Guys, I've had an epiphany. This has something to do with your vision board, because I just can't. Right Look, now. I'm sorry I was an asshole. We have to keep doing this. We can't just give up on this after everything we've done. But most importantly, we have to do this together. You're the reason that I do this. And you're the reason why I want to be an artist. I've been an egomaniac, and I've been a dick, and I've been running around pushing you guys too hard. But we're here because we wanted to make something, and we wanted to do something together. And I kind of dropped the ball on that. But let's just continue. We can't let some stupid festival or some stupid producer come and take our dreams away. I mean, you, you, did some, you did some fucked up shit, dude. Like, you really hurt us, you know? Look, I'm sorry. I was just trying to do what was right with the movie. I felt like you were trying to do what was right for you, and that's yeah. the part that really sucked. You know really what? Sucked. I probably was. Will you forgive me? I mean, look, I just need the promise from both you guys that you're going to stop being dicks to each other. I know. It's like, enough's enough. You guys are constantly bickering, going at it. Like, look, you're right. It's a team sport. We couldn't be here without your vision. You put this all together. We can only do this together. You're totally right. So, like, enough! It's true. And I'm sorry that I wanted to change the film's title at the witching hour. That was look, irresponsible. We can call the film Persephone. It's your idea, and it's a good one. So, I've decided to make it up to you. I'll call the WGA in the morning, and I'll put both of your names on the script. I couldn't have done it without both of you, and it's all of our work. I'm sorry. I can get carried away sometimes, and I know I can be a little extra. But I'm not kidding. We have to keep doing this. Look at all of this. We imagined this. It was on the vision board. You know and what? now we're here. Yeah, yeah. It's really cold. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Well, I love you guys. I love okay. you too. Let's go make more movies. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, fine. Oh. Oh. Let's get the fuck in there. Okay. Seriously. Johnny, you're snoring. Dude, you're snoring. Mom, it's Saturday. I don't have school. Guys, guys, it's light out. Get up, get up. I don't know what time it is, but I don't want to be late for the flight. Get up, please. Guys, come on, get up. Okay. Oh, shit. What time is it? Oh, my head. Oh, why did I drink so much? Oh, oh, God. Ugh. Yeah, no, this trip did not go how I imagined. I lost my representation. I had the worst pitch of my life. I realized that some people might not think I'm as talented as I know that I am. And most traumatically, I lost my friends. I think I've learned a lot. I learned that making indie film is a group effort. And it takes a village and all of that. But I was thinking that indie film has just gone way too commercial. And you know what isn't commercial? Commercials. Next stop, YouTube. So, what did I learn from this whole experience? It ain't easy working with your friends. Even harder, working with an ex-girlfriend. It's like I said about being a producer. When shit hits the fan, everyone kind of craps on you. That Julia, she's a real pill. Sort of an asshole. But she's my asshole. I don't know. Maybe next time I'll direct, and she'll be my producer. You know, the past 24 hours was definitely an experience. I don't know if I'm ever going to do anything like that again. We didn't get what we wanted, but we found what we needed, you know?
right, guys, Uber will be here in six minutes. Cool, 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 cool. So, guys, what's next? Toronto's right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in my dreams, hold you in my dreams. Someone took you out of my arms. Still, I feel the thrill of your charms. Lips that once were mine, tender eyes that shine. They polite my way tonight. I'll see you. Get comfortable, guys, and we'll get on the couches and we'll do it. Yeah, you could. You guys look similar. We. I don't know if you. representative of my own journey as a Canadian filmmaker who's a, a, a legal alien. And that is why I'm linking the alien sub-genre to this. Holy shit, I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be on the next week's episode of CSI. I got a um, featured walk-on role. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you use that. <laughs> what you? I'm just curious. What you cut on? Oh, iMovie. Because I saw a couple star wipes, so it it, it seemed like it was iMovie. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is the star wipe again? Which one is what does it's that look like? It's like a fucking star wipe, like <laughs> 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 